Access denied. These were the scenes outside Cairo University as female students wearing the niqab or face veil tried to enter. The country's minister for higher education has issued a decree banning any student who wears the niqab from entering student accommodation. It's a move that has not only angered these young women, but effectively jeopardizes their chances of completing their studies. They refuse to give us their names out of fear of being expelled by the university. This is my personal freedom. They say they want women to be liberated and advance themselves. Well, how can we if they're banning us from studying? Just as any woman is free to dress in jeans or anything else, I have the right to dress like this. In an interview with a semi-official Egyptian daily, Dr. Hani Hilal, Minister for Higher Education, said the decision was made in order to protect the students, claiming that the niqab had been used by men in order to enter female accommodation. But it's something even the unveiled students dispute. I've been living in accommodation for years. Never before have I heard of a man entering, and if something like that happened, why don't they get a female guard instead of banning these students? I lived with Wales students last year. I never faced any problems at all. These female students have not only been prevented from entering the university campus, but some of them claim that they were physically pushed by the police, preventing them from crossing the university gates. Now they're effectively stranded. They're here with their luggage. Many have traveled hundreds of miles from their hometowns and have nowhere to stay. All of this, they say, for simply covering their face with a piece of cloth. The controversy surrounding the veil is not limited to Cairo University. On Saturday, Sheikh Tantawi, head of Sunni Islam's highest authority, Al-Azhar, came under attack after forcing a female student to uncover her face, then claiming she needn't wear it because she wasn't even attractive. At a time when several European countries, including France and Italy, are looking to introduce an all-out ban on the niqab, many fear that this decision by Egypt only encourages what is perceived to be a curtailing of civil liberties. In the meantime, however, as their colleagues enjoy their return to student life, these female students are left stranded. All they can do is watch. As their future barely hangs in the balance. Jamal Al-Shayal, Al-Jazeera, Cairo.